Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with the latest acquisition for me. This makes car number 13 under my current ownership. It's a 1984 Pontiac Fiero. It's a 2M4. It's an SE model in theory. Uh, it's got some optional things and stuff like that on it. Just dragged it home yesterday from about two hours north of here. Uh, was listed on Kijiji for a thousand dollars. Talked to the guy a little bit, come to find out that it wouldn't start, well come to find out it wouldn't even crank. So at that point you're thinking, well if it's not cranking then we might have an issue with the motor. So I dropped it down to 500. Two weeks later I said, you know that 500 offer is still good. He's like, no I can't tell it for five. So I said, 600? He said, sure. So uh, here it is, a $600 Fiero. Uh, we don't know the status of the engine yet, if it even turns over or what's going on, but it is that four cylinder iron Duke. Uh, and you can tell by the exhaust, it was actually listed as an 85, but clearly thanks to the trunk, you know it's an 84. It does have the 15 inch, or I'm sorry, 14 inch high tech wheels. It's a nice interior. Has 140 some odd thousand, no, not even that. Let's see what I'm on this thing again. 127, 127,000 kilometers. So for the English folks, that's about 78,000 miles. So really low mileage car. Uh, can't really do much with it on the trailer though. So I'm just gonna back it up to the Quonset there and uh, we'll park it next to the other Fiero and then we'll take a better look. Alrighty, we're out of the wind. Let's start at the trunk because that tells you a lot about the car, right? So I already popped it. There it is, 92 horsepower. Is it 92 and 84? I think it is. Iron Duke with unknown status at this point in time. Never had a four cylinder Ford to be honest with you. I got the Ford Pro, but that's a Ford and different. There's a zip tie over there, right there. I don't know what that's about. Looks like a brand new battery. So that's pretty cool. Moto Masters Canadian Tire brand. And then in the bread warmer here, what have we got? Scent pouches. Okay, I'm not even gonna put that in the parts pocket. Ah, this looks like it's missing. It's that piece that goes from the air intake from the exhaust manifold to warm the incoming air. So that's not on there anymore. Hey, what's this doing back here? This is the uh, sunroof. By the way, it's got a sunroof if you didn't notice right there. Um, sunroof visor, which we'll just give to the missus because hers is missing hers, so she can have that. Make her car more complete. Uh, 84 engine cowl. I think these are made out of magnesium. It also says it's stamped Canada, so that's pretty cool. What else have we got here? Hello, you're cute. This book provides enthusiast information on do-it-yourself services. Fiero Fashions. This is a cool little book. It's got nice little diagrams. P PCV valve service. Little booklet. We'll have to take a look at that. The backstory on this car is that it was owned by a farmer, believe it or not. And he drove it, guessing by all the nose dings on the gravel. Uh, then he parked it for 15 years. Um, 10 of those were inside, five of those were outside. Apparently that's all the paint needed to dye. Because <laughs> this side, like the door is gorgeous. The clear coat's there, it's shiny. And as you can see, it must've been parked beside a building because as soon as the sun hits it, done. Like the roof's good, so it must be the plastic. But the uh, hood is not good. Typical little impacts that you see here from rocks, I'm guessing, that cause chips and such. Nothing a good sanding and love couldn't fix. And then this side is just done. 
She's also got her mirror ripped off, like ripped. Like this is broken, ripped. So, and like it's pulled the window away. So that's just ripped. I do have the inserts. It's missing here. Totally here, although it's not red anymore. Um, yeah, so the story is it was stored. Uh, this guy bought it, was driving it home, and it died on him, and that was it. He said it had oil in it. Uh, this dipstick says barely any. And uh, it's super black, so it's a pile of crap. And uh, I took a look in the... Uh, we've got no coolant in this thing either. She's right down the neck dry. So if he drove it in anywhere this type of condition, it is going to be seized because she overheated. But anyway, back to our story. We have a nasty, dirty rag, so let's make that go away. Okay. Uh, fuel pump that's got the bottom ripped off it. So maybe we got a new one in there. Figure that out once we put the electricals to her. Um, oily gasket. Head gasket maybe? Or not a head gasket, a, a valve cover gasket. Uh, my poor mirror. Poor, poor thing. I might have to replace this one. She's just a little bit bumped. Let's put it in the parts bin though. And uh, Pigtail says it's electric. So that's cool. Uh, not sure what that's for. Hmm. I don't know what this part is. This is where you would want to go ahead and mention something in the comments. If you know exactly where this goes, we might find out what and then where later. More of that. Why would you keep the ga old one? You know? And uh, it's a Wii controller strap, it looks like, or something. That should go in the trash pile. The battery hold down. Yeah, those are popular. Uh, the other side of the fuel pump, I'm guessing. Um, that's rat bait. Oh, rat bait. Okay. I guess there's no rats in here. We'll suck up the rest of this and breathe it in later. So, uh, looks like we have some sort of uh, light bulb. Off uh, something. Do do do. Uh, cap, battery caps, more fuel pumpage. Uh, some sort of really stripped nut, or, yeah, errors. Error. Uh, yeah, battery thing, bolt. For the battery hold down, doesn't look big enough. So that's it for the trunk. So, probably had some fuel work done. That's cute. A little switch that the trunk is a jar. Like, right there. I don't think that's on my wife's there. Anyway, uh, new battery. That doesn't look right. Looks like he's got an inline heater for the coolant. This is Canada, and I guess if it was an option with a block heater, that could be an issue. Other than that, the <clears throat> it's a Duke. A little bit of leavage in it, but <clears throat> there'll be more videos on that later. Let's take a look at the inside. Now, uh, they said it... When I saw the pictures of it online, <coughs> I asked, well, why is the back of the panel off? And the reason is, oh, the tachometer doesn't work. So uh, this person probably wasn't a mechanic, I'm guessing. So we'll just hope they didn't do too much to it. And the front fascia is out. So it doesn't really be. Unless they were nice enough to leave it in so we can clean it. Um, the plastic part there that hides all the bits and pieces. So that going on. Oh, not an air-conditioned car. Looks like I've got the mechanical switches too. Oh, come on. So that's kind of frozen. The thermostat, or the temperature one's okay. We'll put battery on it in a little bit. And the vents were closed because of mices. Rear window defro uh, defroster fog or whatever. Hatch, whoa. So the entire column is currently loose. So what the heck were they doing here? Maybe that's where some of my bolts are from. Yeah, the big bolts down here are all undone. Ugh, you know, when people get into stuff they don't know what they're doing with. 
Um, the other issue is, is uh, what I noticed moving this car around with the clutch in, is uh, the gear selectors are poor. Like, if I go over, there's reverse. Is that one, two. Because I'm, per here, I'm reverse, one, two, three, four. So if I go all the way over, that should be reverse. Down, I shouldn't have a down and I don't. Over, one, two, and then I got nothing. There's no more over to the right for three, four. So something's amiss in linkages or the transmission. It should be able to paw through the gears easy enough. It could be because something's mechanically tied up or the cables or something's amiss. Trim's coming off there, power mirrors. Ooh. It's a little flaky. Power windows. <laughs> Don't mess with that. Cigarette lighters in stock. Wouldn't we got anything over here? Oh, ho, ho. 84 Fiero manual. And what's this? Oh. This looks like it's the uh, lock ring for the wheels, I guess, if they've got locks in them. And oh, oh, no, that's not good. Oh, okay, just a piece of plastic there. So there's that. That's cool. Uh, what else we got? Horn GT. Hey, cruise control car. Um, delay wipers. Headlights, which no battery, no runny. They got to get lubricated anyway. Kind of lifted the hatches and they don't want to lift. Let's get these out of here. We don't need the trees. And we got the map lights. The sunroof. Oops, we got some removage there. So that's all right. I like the... These will be fun, see if they work and... Oh, there's no pillar. I see. So it's these or nothing. Plus the four by tens in the front. Oh, what's this? Ew. We're just gonna put that over there. Anything else in here? Nope, nope. What else we got to see here? We got the bottom of the dash. Hopefully some screws, a metal piece. Oh, hello 80s, VHS cassette. Access Network Physics 30, Video 1, Electricity and Electromagnetism. Well, let's just hope they weren't using that to figure this thing out. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Get my money back already. We got money in the ashtray. All of uh, pennies. pennies. Yeah, there's uh, 15 cents back. Bingo. I'll just set that right there under the car. Get that later. Nothing in that map pocket. The other side. And there are my screws. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just put these over here. Uh, figure out how that all goes back together again. What's... Ugh. What were they trying to hide? This is some sort of tray. It's got speaker... Oh, I... For the radio? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you the radio was in this. So we got a harness back there. So we'll have some time. This is all apart. So we'll have to... There's some videos on YouTube that show how to glue that together. Nothing in that. Anything in this else in this? Oh, wait. What do we got here? Another air freshener. Okay, that's fine. And what's this round thing? Sounds like a battery. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's just get that out of my car, too. Okay, and uh, mirrors? Nope. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we got here? Come on. Oh. That says, not a guy. Up here. Oh, there's a mirror right there. That's cool. So that's, oh, we got behind the seat too, right? Anything back here? Oh. And uh, I love the fabric. That's just delicious. Ugh. What's this? Another car. This thing must have stunk. There's a plug of some kind right there. Electrical. That's that for this side. Let's hop on over to the other side. See if there's any toys behind the rear seat. Or the rear seat. That's not, oh, now we've dented things. Not really, not when you're, your cars are all plastic. Let's see what we have here. 
Uh, Two-handed job. Sorry, guys. Uh, anything behind here? No, nothing back here. There, boy. Um, yeah, nice Bigfoot well. Um, another thing in here. Oh, the lid to that other thing over there. So oh, that's cool. Let's take a look under the hood. Bonnet, front trunk, trunk, whatever you want to call it. It's got an antenna. That's all right. No radio anymore, but it's got a... Wow, that's a tiny tank. <laughs> got a washer tank. No AC. Spare tire still's got tread on it, so that's good news. A little rust on that guy, but not a big deal. Lots of leaves. Lots and lots of leaves. Won't even crack the radiator. Don't want to know what's in there. Ugh. Those are fairly stiff. Get the RPO code sticker there. We're going to play with that a little bit. Windshield wipers seem to be present. Lots of leaves. Say some chipping on the nose. This one I think is really stiff. Uh, yeah. Need some help with that guy. Do have brake fluid. Does have clutch fluid. So that's good. This is where that vent the visor strip should be. Is right here. You click it in and then when your, your top can come off and come here and you can put the strip up there if you want to. I never use mine, so. So that's it. That's the 1984 Pontiac Fiero uh, intro video. Is that a bug? Nope, it's a leaf. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them. Uh, body by Fisher, that's cool. This was quite a collaboration between engineering and manufacturing to get this car built. So I kind of always wanted an 84. So now I have the 88 Fiero GT, the 87 Fiero SE, and this one, which I think is an SE, although on the duck bed she's 2M4. Do some research on it and stuff. I like the rear lid configuration, a little different than all the other years. Iron Duke with a single side out. But that's it. If, uh, yeah, you guys subscribe for more info. Probably have a red card on this one. Call it the 84 Fiero. Really haven't named that one besides Pretty in Pink. So... Two Fieros, lots of videos every Monday, hopefully, 5 p.m. Eastern time. There'll be a new Fiero-ish video of some kind doing something on these guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.